Welcome back to the channel, guys. So we have two concrete contenders from the same manufacturer. One claims to be fast setting and one just claims to be regular concrete. Is this one really gonna set up faster than this one and is this one worth the money? We're gonna mix three bags of each at the same time, pour them in the holes at the same time, set the post at the same time to figure out if this one will set up faster than this one, allowing us to build a fence or do our repair faster with this one. We have our two posts set. We have fast setting here. And we also have a couple of leftover piles so we can see which one really does harden. Let's come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes have come and gone. We're just gonna do a little poke test on these two. So I can still indent with my fingers. And that one I can indent more. Um, so this one is setting up just a little bit faster than this one I think right now. Let's see what we can do with our post. So we can still wobble that post quite a bit. Oh wow, that one. I cannot get that one to wobble nearly as much as I can get this one to wobble. I'm having to put a lot of force on it. So that, that's been 10 minutes. Let's come back in another 10, see what happens. Okay, so we're back and we said we were gonna come back in 10 minutes, but uh, <clears throat> The owners of SWI bought us pizza today. They're awesome. Let's start with the standard. So I can still move the post just a little bit, but it's it's getting harder. Putting quite a bit of pressure. I can get about that much of an indentation. So it's it's going pretty fast. Um I can't I can't put an indentation in it. With one hand, I can't turn it. I can turn that one still. But with one hand and a good solid grip, I can't I can't turn that. So this is this definitely is fast setting. If it keeps going like this for an hour, uh, I could start working with this post. Be very ginger still. And the hotter the day is, the faster this stuff is going to cure. The lower the content, the moisture content is in the ground, it's going to suck that moisture out even faster, causing it to flash or get hard even faster. There's 160 pounds right there. Doing nothing. That one's still a little mushy. Okay, so now we're 50 minutes into this whole spiel. So we're gonna go ahead and play with them just a little bit. Okay, I cannot pick that up because it is just trying to, oh, there we go. So it's still very crumbly. And if I pick it up in clumps and it'll apply a little bit of pressure. I can still get it to break free from itself. Let's try this one. So that, that's one giant chunk of concrete. So I got it to break, just right on the edge there. I'm having to apply double the amount of force. So it still broke apart, but it didn't turn into a whole bunch of crumbles like that. There's definitely an additive or an agent in there that causes it to react a lot faster than that one. Now keep in mind, I'm saying that this is great for a couple posts. Mix one at a time, don't mix multiples at times because you don't want your concrete to start flashing in that wheelbarrow. Then you're gonna have to throw it all away. Ask me how I know, I've done that. Uh, and then also, I would not recommend this for sidewalks. It's gonna go so fast you're not gonna be able to control it. If you're gonna look for patching in a sidewalk, I'd go back to that. Let's see if we can pull this post out of the ground. It is a lot more solid. And I was able to get it up. A little bit of pressure, I was able to wiggle the post around to get it to waller out the hole. Now let's play with this one. What I'm thinking of, if you were gonna try to hang a gate on something like this, that's both hands on it, and I cannot rotate it. I cannot pull it out of the ground either. Aha, 
I wiggled it so vigorously, I got it to crack. So I have a feeling that since I broke it free, if I was to use this post, I'd have to redo that concrete because I was too vigorous on it and it's past its adhesion point to the post. This, if I could still pack it back, I bet you it'll still adhere to that post because it's not a fast setting like this one is. Great, wonderful product. If you're in a hurry and you're trying to get a repair done in one day, just remember to be very, very soft with it. Don't cause it to fracture and try not to break that post free. Earlier I said if you would wait an hour, you could start working on this and I 100% stand by that. And also take into fact that today's temperatures is about 55 degrees. So if it was even hotter, that would be even harder. Thanks for hanging around and watching the comparison. Now, if you want to see the real interesting facts between wet set, dry pack, and foam, make sure and see this video right here. This is Dan with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day.